Welcome back to In Photoshop 1. If you are performing an action in Photoshop many times over with several files, it may be convenient for you to make a Photoshop droplet. Making a Photoshop droplet will turn your action into a small application that can be placed on your desktop. You can also batch edit your files. For more information on how to batch edit, please visit the link to my video on how to batch edit. However, a droplet is better for editing a very large amount of files, say 30 or more. Begin by creating your action. Do so by going to the top menu and selecting Window, Actions. Here you can see all of my previously recorded actions. When you are ready to record your action, click the New Action button at the bottom of the panel window and select Record. Now I will perform my action. I will go to the top menu and select Image, Mode, CMYK, and then save my image. After performing your action, stop recording and name it. To create your droplet, go to the top menu and select File, Automate, Create Droplet. A window will appear. Here you may select where you would like your droplet to be saved to and the action you wish to convert into an application or droplet. Down below you are given options to adjust your naming convention. In the first box I will name my action. In the second I will name the files that I am converting and in the third box I will select a numbering convention. You may view an example above these boxes. When done hit OK. My droplet has been saved to my desktop. Now I may convert my files to CMYK mode simply by dragging them over to my droplet. I will open my converted files up in Photoshop to confirm that my images were converted and they were. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like this video, check out my other videos, and subscribe.